Hey new types, what's going on? My name is Spencer and I'm here to talk to you about video game leaks. I know it's been a while since the last upload, I've kind of just been thinking about this channel as a whole and the format for these videos. I want to do more conversational topics since you guys love to share your opinion, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. It was reported a few months back that Pokemon Sun and Moon starters were leaked on the internet and a rumor was spread that multiple regions could be in the next Pokemon installment. This is refreshing due to personal bias, as Pokemon Gold and Silver were my favorites in the franchise and they included both the Johto and the Can regions to explore, opening the game up for more content and a true endgame experience. However, I wanted to talk to you guys about the stasis of video game leaks as a whole. As you know, the biggest news pieces in gaming media revolve around leaks, including stuff I've talked about in the past on this channel, such as the Final Fantasy XV Platinum demo, Nintendo NX, and the PlayStation 4.5. But are these leaks damaging to Japanese video game creator reputations? Absolutely not. My two cents on the issue is that it creates viral marketing buzz in order for consumers to spark interest in the games. Who knows if these are fabricated by the companies themselves or if they're just fan speculation? Personally, I'd like to see something about leaks being exposed, as exposure type content seems to be doing really good on YouTube lately. However, leaks in my opinion are healthy for gamers, it sparks conversation and brings life to the medium of video games, especially for Japanese game developers and marketers. It helps create word of mouth marketing about your products so that you don't have to. But that's all for today, let me know in the comments what you think about leaks, leave a like, comment, subscribe, $5 PayPal donation, send us an Amazon gift card, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.